Hey, my friends, Mike from Arms Only Gaming. I'm going to show you a couple of things that you might have missed or that's very easy to miss in the game. A couple of items, some crucial areas and stuff. Main thing is the tear stone. I'm going to show you how to get that. One of the four umbilical cords within the game. I'm going to show you where the clove set is for the dolls. And the old hunter's bone, which is a specialized weapon that you can use in the game. Now just follow these steps. In the beginning of the game, uh, you come to Gascoigne, fight him and defeat him. Remember after the fight to light your lanterns. Sometimes I see people, they, they struggle to get back to the same area just because they f forgot to la light the lantern. It's an easy, easy oversight, but can be done. And after the fight uh, with Gascoigne, you're going to head up to the Cathedral Ward. That is a door inside of the Cathedral Ward to the right-hand side, which is now closed. closed. But we're going to open up that door by following the next step. Um, it's critical to follow these steps because we need to get to the abandoned workshop and we can't get there if we don't do this. So yeah, I'm here in the Cathedral Ward. I'm going to light this lantern. And then I'm going to head down to Old Yarnum where you have to fight the Bloodstarved Beast and you have to defeat him. That's going to activate the door to be opened in the next um, sequence. Okay, just going to light this lantern. I'm going to put links in the video for the, the separate boss fights if you want to go and check them out. These are some very, very big doors, but okay. Okay, run through the Yarnum, old Yarnum section and get to the boss fight. Like I said, fight the Bloodstaff Beast and you must defeat him in order to activate the whole sequence. She runs very nicely, I think. Okay, light this lantern and then you return to the Hunter's Dream and then from the Hunter's Dream you go back to the Cathedral Ward which is located on the very first uh, gravestone. Now as you see this door is open now. Go through that door, there's an elevator to your right. That's going to take you up to the upper cathedral. I just ignored the enemies for this, for the purpose of the video. And when you get to this part, go to the right-hand side of the building, okay? I know a lot of people, they struggle when they're dropping down to this uh, platform that I'm going to show you here now. But this is a very critical thing. Remember to heal up. I can't say this enough. Heal up before you drop down. Now look at those two little pieces of wood. They line up with the ropes. Just drop down between those pieces of wood. And you should hit the platform. Like so. Okay, remember to heal up. Again. Drop down to the second platform. And there's the door that leads to the abandoned workshop. Now this is where we're going to find those four items that I was talking about. Kind of looks familiar. It's the hunter's dream, but not really. There's no doll standing there. There's no gravestones. There's just a big building that's been abandoned. Okay, in this chest, you're going to find the set of clothes for the doll, which you can use in the game. They look very nice, and they look kind of cute. Up this little runway here. Here's the old hunter's bone, and that's a specialized weapon that can make you move very fast, depending on how um, strong your arcane, I think it has to do with your arcane, but it makes you dodge attacks very easily. Here's one of the four umbilical cords that you find in the game. The other one is with the wet nurse. Uh, you find one uh, in Isafika's clinic, and then it's this one, and then I think you also get one in... Uh, Somewhere in the game. Sorry, I forget where that is. And yes, okay, I picked up the small hair ornament there. Now that's the crucial thing. Then you head back to the hunter's dream. You speak to the doll, and then you hand it over to the doll, the, the small hair ornament. That's uh, She's going to talk a little bit, and she's going to be very sad about it and something, but, which is quite nice. She, uh, she feels some emotion. Not a thing, only I feel 
a yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? <gasps> Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? <sighs> okay, now she gave you the tear stone. Now what you do now is you equip it on your quick items list by pressing options. There you go. Just equip that tear stone. And you crush it. Silver shining star stone used to change into droplet blood gem that follow fortifies any weapon. Yeah, that's why you use that that thing. You put it on one your one of your weapons, which actually helps your HP recover uh, while it's equipped on your weapon. Okay, so there I have the tier blood gem. So now I'm just going to go and equip it on my axe. Like I said, it helps uh, recover your HP while you're playing, while it's, it's equipped on your, on your weapon. So you go to Blood Gem Fortification, choose the weapon where you want to use it. I have a couple of these because I have done it a couple of times before. So I'm just going to select one of the tier Blood Gems. As you see there, on the right hand side, HP continues to recover plus two. So yeah, it, it, it really helps out in a fight um, whenever you're playing the game. Okay, that's it my friends. I hope this helps. I hope you can find these items and I hope that we play Bloodborne forever and ever and ever. You guys have a good one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I shall see you guys in the next one. You, you guys take care of yourselves, eh? Cheers.